This is Coombe Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Mackin's Gym Marbella. We're at the Friday Night Light Show here at Wembley Arena. With me, I've got Derek Zora, 32nd, brutal overhand no, 30 right. 32nd was 29, man. Don't, don't try and roll me at that second. Really? Yeah. I did it 31. Uh, beautiful overhand right, ended it. it, he weren't getting up from that. Yeah, we've been practicing that for a while, you know, since I, since I um, came back from the gym with, uh, with Gary, so we've been doing it for the last six months. But everything has been going well, um, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving the game. But you know what, forget the win, man, it's a sad day, I'm very upset today. You know, one of the legends in, legends in boxing, he's not going to be doing what he normally does. Ernie Draper? Yeah, Ernie Draper, yeah, he's a G. And he's been there, Nigel Benn, Chris Eubank, Lennox Lewis, you know, your Kawasaki, Ricky Hatton, you know, all the greatest you can imagine in boxing in London, he's been there at the back, seeing everything, how they prepare, tell them what to do and stuff like that. And he's going today. It's a sad day. And you didn't know until yesterday? I, no, I didn't know until today when today, I walked in. Really? Yesterday, he kind of vaguely told me, but I didn't really put it in mind. But today, uh, it's very upsetting, you know, because guys like him, they know the inside of boxing. You know, you know, fighters have come and gone, and they're still there. You know, uh, it's just it's people like him. You can, they can't find them. They're like unicorns, basically. It's like they can. But um, listen, he's healthy, and obviously, you know, if he's, he's if healthy, he's happy, I told him, what you want to yeah. retire for? For fuck's sake! <laughs> but he's gone anyway. Coming back to your, your performance tonight, obviously, what was it about just getting back in the ring? I know you said yesterday that you hadn't gone anywhere, you just obviously there was a little bit of a time out for you, but was it just about a confidence thing for you today or not? It was more like a getting in the ring fight and just getting on with it. You know, I, I, say, to my, I say to the guys in the chat, like, this is the first time in my career I'm nervous. Having been in with <laughs> just about every top heavyweight there is. Yeah, I was like, it's the first time I'm nervous. Why? I don't know. I was just nervous. I was like, I don't know what's happening. I was just nervous when I was in the, in the dressing room. But I was relaxed, but I was nervous. I didn't know what reception I was going to get outside. You know, because... But you got a very good reception outside. Yeah, you know, but People you, have to, you have to understand with the British fans. And they're like, they are... They're like the Virgin Mary, they're hard to please. You know, next minute they cheer you, next minute they boo you. You never know what day you get them. Maybe I got them on a gyro week, maybe they got the gyros this weekend. <laughs> no, but when they introduced your name, I, I heard yeah, the whole arena was applauding you, yeah, you yeah, today. Yeah, say to you, yeah. like, yeah. I was like, wow. The last time, I, you know, sometimes I come out to booze, but you know, I don't care, because then the day they pay to come and watch me, but you never know with these fellas, with these people. Boxing fans are hard to please. But I mean, you've been involved in some of the best moments from British boxing over it. It's always gone your way, Derek, but you've always brought in and you've brought characters to the sport. And I think people appreciate that here, regardless of, you know, what you, know, what you may think deep down inside. I think people appreciate what you've done for the sport. Yeah, they appreciate it, but sometimes they're hard to please. It's like your wife cooking you spaghetti bolognese and you're like, I love it. And suddenly you spaghetti bolognese again, you're like, fuck, am I having this shit again now? You get upset. <laughs> So, you know, these guys, they never know what, to, what you expect out there. It's difficult. It's hard work. Is that not just life in general, though? Mate, you don't expect your fans to come and boo you once, and then suddenly, next, next morning, they're like, yeah. Next morning, they're like, boo. You know, it's just difficult. But it's only come and watch, man. Do you know what? More disturbing than your knockout tonight was the fact that I saw your penis. When <laughs> you took it out to the doctor today, which is quite disturbing. Ah. Listen, don't act like you haven't shown the doctor your penis, bro. The doctor asked me what yeah, was, was a, There was a room full of about 30 people in there, so... What the fuck? We all men, bro. Oh, that's all right. We all men. We all guys. We all fellas in there. It ain't a, ain't a, uh, it, it ain't a problem, bro. We all guys in there. He's blocking out your face. Sorry, man. What are you shot for? You know this guy, don't you? He's been spent off engine Derek, just finally, what, what, what's obviously... You spoke about your the change in your team and... Yeah. Obviously, it's just one fight now, so you have to see how that goes. And hold Listen, on. all I'm saying to you is, these guys, they haven't got a clue what I've been doing for the last six months, nine months. That's all. Gary is a very technical trainer. What I've been doing, I've been training for the last 10 years of my life physically, and now I'm training technical. 
you know. It's the same thing as those Klitschko brothers, you know. They do technical. When you do technical, you don't waste so much energy. You know what you want to do, you know where you want to hit the guy. That's why Floyd Mayweather was great, because he's a technical fighter. And that's kind of the route I've taken now. The type of fighter that the casual fan would call boring. Technical. Yeah. <laughs> the Andre Wards of the world. The Rigondales of the world. Yeah, but... Brilliant to watch for the know. purists, but maybe not most entertaining fighters to watch for the, for the casual fan. You know, we, we, you can look at it like that, you know, but... As long as you're getting in the ring and fighting, bro. People want to see blood, all that stuff, knockouts. Yeah, but in technical, you get knockouts. For me, my technical is a knockout technical. That's what I'm proving. I'm yeah. not proving on boxing and going on all the way around. No, I don't want to do that. Have you got something in your head that will map out the next 12 months for you that could result in you fighting for the world title again? I want to fight the German kid, the one who won the European title. Because Erkan, Pani, yeah. Erkan Pani, Tepper. Yeah, Pani is a knockout artist. Everybody's running away from him like he's the shit. But I like the smell of shit, so I want to go smell him. <laughs> <sighs> that's, that's I'm sure that fight wouldn't be that difficult to make. It won't be difficult. I won it in Germany. Really? Yeah. That's it. Talk to Frank. And I will see you, Frank, on Monday. Nice to see you, fella. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Derek Chizora.